uh, good afternoon everyone uh, my name is deepak uh, i have pawan with me so we guys will be discussing about about the new open nms minion uh, which is uh, like scalable architecture which we have implemented for our organization so uh, first i'll just discuss about like what all things we have implemented as part of uh, as, as part of uh, the new requirements so uh, as you can see like the all the blue stuffs are existing design for open nms and whatever you are able to see in green all those things have been newly implemented uh, for us so i got one open nms and two minion machines so right now just for the demo environment we are sending all the syslogs to minion 1 and all the traps to minion minion 2 right and um, there is one big change for us is like instead of sending the messages from minion to open nms via active mq we have implemented kafka so you could see that there is a three node kafka cluster and uh, we are pushing all the syslogs and traps to the, to kafka cluster and then open nms is consuming from there after consuming uh, all the messages um, we are writing all time series data to Cassandra cluster as well as we are pushing all the events to ELK cluster so that we could visualize all the um, all the events in Kibana dashboard so in later part of our demonstration we'll be discuss we'll be showing the uh, what all dashboards we have we have implemented as well as Pavan will be talking about uh, JMX metrics because from open NMS web console uh, we are not uh, we are not just monitoring the open nms uh, jmx metrics we are also monitoring the minion machines as well because uh, when we we guys will go live in production we we might have 22 different minions so we wanted to monitor from one single console so uh, so other than this you are able to see that we are uh, the log stash stuff also so from all minion machines we are pushing all the application logs caraf.log uh, to Kafka topic and then ELK cluster is consuming those application logs so even we have created one dashboard for monitoring the application logs as well so I just want to show you like um, how we guys have implemented Kafka cluster yep. so this is Kafka Kafka web console it's a Kafka manager so you could see that it's a three node cluster and we have got uh, three brokers and a couple of topics where you could see syslog and trapd so for syslog what we have done is like to achieve uh, parallel processing we have created 300 different partitions so that 300 producers can connect to kafka cluster and write the messages and the replication factor we have decided is, is two. So uh, one particular message will be available in at least two nodes for us. And you can see like eight messages per second uh, uh, is coming to this particular topic from, from minion machines. And 0 .80, 0 0.80 uh, traps per second is coming for this. So you could see the number is, is quite huge. And because we were doing parallel development because this number was very, very, very high but because of some internal issue we had to delete all the kafka um, kafka data so we lost that information otherwise it was very huge so let me just go to syslog so for syslog you could see like right now we have got 300 partitions right and because because the replication factor is 2 so each partition has got um, two nodes so like uh, for partition number zero, we have got two and three uh, 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 number. I mean, node number two and three is assigned, as well as you could see that there is one consumer. So syslog consumer is uh, like open NMS is consuming messages from here. So at a time, I mean, right now the total lag is 255. So, but this number will be keep on changing. So, uh, so. To 300 partitions, 300 different consumer consumer instances are are connected. So so it's like each partition ha partition have got one dedicated consumer uh, to consume the messages. Similarly, we have for for trapd as well. Yep. <coughs> So 
so here the lag is is little less because we are we are sending all uh, 0 0.80 traps per second to kafka cluster right so lag is nothing but like 20 messages are sitting right now in kafka <coughs> cluster and which needs to be consumed by open nms so it's like the, the in flight messages basically yep. yep that's true so for syslog because the frequency is, is more so syslog you could see more but it used to be um, 20,000, 30,000 before implementing the partitioner stuff. But once we created more number of partitions, uh, this particular number came less than 500. And uh, as I said, like we have got couple of, uh, we have created couple of Kibana dashboards to to monitor the, uh, to do the analytics. So first dashboard is like OpenNMS performance monitoring dashboard. So we are uh, here you could see like we are displaying uh, displaying by event severity so like the inner circle is representing the severity second one is representing what is the source of that particular event and third one is my event ue so even i could i should be able to see the table as well so you could see like for trap d um, event severity is uh, severity is normal and the total count is 8 to 40 so i should be able to even download this particular um, this particular information in in CSV format to do the more filtering, right? And second is like total number of counts. So so far we have got. Uh, let me remove the filters because right now filters are active. <coughs> yep. So you could see like total number of uh, events are almost six point five million as of now, and it will even tell like what is the average for an hour as well as what was the maximum and what was the minimum right now minimum number is in minus because uh, we were doing parallel development so most of the times we were not pushing information to ELK cluster so that's why otherwise it should be a positive number we can also say count over time and uh, uh, we should be able to select and based on that uh, you could see that uh, this particular search will also get changed If somebody wants, somebody is interested in seeing like what are the top 10 devices. So this particular visualization will help us in understanding what are the top 10 devices which are sending the events. And even from table you could see like the, the topmost device is this and it is almost like I think almost 1 million I guess or, or more than that. So th this is the this is performance monitoring dashboard. Second dashboard, what we have created is a fault monitoring dashboard, where um, we are we are displaying most of the things by like top five, top ten. So uh, here you could see top ten devices by severity, total count, top five event source. So syslog the syslog is one of the um, uh, like topmost event source for us. And you could see like total count of critical events. So, so far we have got 63 critical events, uh, top 10 node locations. And as well as we are listing out like what all uh, top five critical events. So we are just listing so that um, support team can just um, see this particular dashboard and take appropriate action. So I would like to I would like to call Pavan for uh, discussing about minion monitoring dashboard. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, here you can see is the minion dashboard, mainly the application logs. So how we can uh, track all the oh, oh, how many numbers of errors or warnings or info we got in the curve dot log file. So basically, instead of logging into each and every machine and checking the application logs, you can just come to this dashboard and uh, visualize. Uh, how many errors you got this particular uh, uh, node currently these are the two minion machines we have configured uh, 111 and 112 so if I click on this one it will display only which is related to uh, 111 machine details uh, so basically and also you can uh, filter it out by how many errors you got how many warnings you have and how many information you got uh, so here is the uh, search uh, we have done uh, this is a basic search uh, like 
I'll just want to give a, a brief overview of how we, we have achieved this. Basically, whatever the cutoff log uh, information will be pushed into the Kafka cluster. And from Kafka cluster, using the logs cache, we are uh, pushing into the Elasticsearch. From Elasticsearch, we are pulling it and showing it in the Kibana dashboard. Okay. Uh, so as you mentioned, uh, we are like we are displaying uh, in total number of counts of uh, application logs we have received, and total number of error error. Uh, so so far we have got. I mean there are, that that was used because uh, we are doing so many so many you know uh, uh, things while doing the demo. Okay. So this is it, and uh, I just take you to the uh, JMX dashboard. Go to the main page. So this is one of our um, uh, Minion machine. Uh, from here we are uh, uh, monitoring uh, the Minion JVM. Uh, if we go to the resource graphs and then say minion jvm graph selection I'll say last minute so okay so the the 112 is connected to the uh, to receive the traps so this will show the how many uh, uh, trap exchanges are completed uh, in this particular period. Yeah. So so basically this this particular exchange we are getting from uh, camel routes. So that that number it is showing. I think you guys use the uh, JMX configuration GUI to pick out metrics for this as well yeah. too. Yep. yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so similarly, uh, uh, we guys are planning to implement JMX metrics for for uh, other clusters as well. For Kafka, it is all it is done, but because of some internal issues, it is not working right now. We guys are working on, but uh, that is also done like like we have done for me. So I think I think that's all. Any questions? Just uh, if it's possible uh, to the original uh, slide, uh, to, to, to presentation slide. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't have uh, also, and uh, do you monitor Cassandra with OpenMS or not? Yep. Uh, by using news, news data will be uh, right into the Cassandra cluster. Yes, but you have a status for the Cassandra cluster or not? Or how you are monitoring the Cassandra uh, cluster? Currently that's what we just used Grafana uh, to monitor that. that uh, we are still working on that. I mean to visualize Cassandra yes, information you are asking or monitoring? No, I just want to understand you have a cluster, of course. That is uh, uh, that has three nodes. Yep. Okay. So you should be able to understand if the cluster is working properly or not. That's true. So, so if the operations of the Cassandra cluster are uh, uh, so if the Cassandra cluster is working properly, so it's just full management of Cassandra cluster. I don't okay. know if you have implemented something at the application level, so. Just like Kibano dashboard to view. I think you you are not viewing uh, the data stored, the time series. It's just understanding that your infrastructure is working. So you say I just monitor the minions. Yep. Okay, to see what's happening. Yep. So I can also say how you monitor the L uh, the the Elastic Search cluster. How you monitor yep. the Kafka cluster. So how you monitor. So how you know that your infrastructure is working uh, as expected. 
that's true so so now that's what like we have started with minion monitoring so yeah. minions like we are monitoring through jmx uh, jmx matrix kafka cluster cassandra cluster as well as EL, elk cluster similar way we guys will be monitoring through open nms you want uh, to monitor web console. Yeah. yeah because we wanted to monitor uh, the entire cluster stuff from one single place so if and that capability has uh, open nms has already got it Data collection, data collection for Cassandra built yeah. in. Uh, if you pointed at the Cassandra clusters, so we're at least getting metrics. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much.